I finally received the new rotary switch uh, shim from Dave Jones for E121 GW multimeter, 121 GW or gigawatt or yes. So I would like to change it from now. And I started to have the similar symptom was reported in the forum only these three weeks when I switch it. This time it was okay, but sometimes this happens. So sometimes it, it, when switching from off to some other ranges, it doesn't turn on. Yes, again. Uh oh, and when this happens, what I was doing was little push the rotary switch, and then if I turn it on, then it normally it was okay. So changing from here to voltage, if I push it, it's normally okay. But um. Uh, again, it it goes off. Let me see if, if I change the switches. Um, if it, it it will improve the symptom or not. And taking off the from holster, one screw here. Oh, and another screw here. batteries and move the leads take remove three screws holding the front cover and back cover self tap screw going into the plastic I really like this the size is much smaller than other meters. Oh there's one more. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And let me open it. Let me open the envelope. So no, no rotary switch with the shim. Okay, and going to take off the PCB from the front case. One, where's the screws? Oh, there's the screws underneath the. Take, take off this one. Take off this one. Oh, there's one, oh, there's the other screw here. Is there any, any other screw? Um, so I was four small screws and two large screws. Is that it? Um, and that's that's how. Then it should come off. Oh, it does. Mhm. Mm Looks good. Mhm. Mm the, and it has an arrow here. So probably it's going. This will be here. Oh, this two screw was only for holding uh, the fourth screw was only for holding down the LCD so I, I didn't have to I shouldn't have to remove it and the seal is solder on the side so I'm not I'm not going to take it off this further okay I just desolder here and came off so there's a big SD micro processor here, rotary switch, 
Go to the switch, I'm just going to take it off now. Go to the contact, or whatever, wiper contacts, whatever it's called. And this is the rotary switch. And almost nothing other than the main CPU. And this is the probably the chipset. So the, there's three mobs and four PTCs and and protection is this protection resistor? Yeah, I think so. Okay, then I need to I'm going to change this. So um mm -hmm. It came off. This is the one that came off from the original one. It does not look significantly different. Well, anyway. How, how is it? Oh, I see. Um, it doesn't look significantly different. However, yeah, this has a little bit of more space between and this is more fill rigid yes yeah, so that's about it and then I'm going to put this back on mm -hmm. now it's back in and I'm going to put the con rotary contact it looks all, all right the thick pads It has a via in the inside the track, but um, it looks all right. And put the shim. And I need to solder. Oh, I think this is not a sealed. I think this is for um backlight. And now oh, I also finished this putting the solder soldering back uh, the backlight and screw the four screw holding the LCD and and this is a little bit different than the other multimeter is this uh, center middle pin goes right into the rotary switch and. Uh, Two spring connecting to this PCB with the from the battery and one spring touching the yes touching the sealed on the back side. Then I'm going to screw this two screw which holding the PCB with the front cover. This is definitely millimeter uh, self tap screw. Mm -hmm. Looks okay. And put the fuse back. Fuse 11 amp. Ele uh, ele yes, 11 amp. Another fuse, and this is ASTM 400 milliamp. And then put the back cover back. There's a notch here. So, not it's holding it. Wait a minute. Yes, one thing I noticed with this expensive uh, screws will fit perfectly with the standard of the tip of the screwdriver. And even if it's not magnetized, sometimes it holds, holds on on the, on the screwdriver. I magnetize it, so it, it will, it will I, I, I think it will hold on. But, um, and if the, the quality of the groove perfectly ma matching with the screwdriver will have uh, less chance to damaging the groove on the screw. So um, I wish if it if it doesn't matter changing the screw with standard groove on the on the screws and the, some some later revision. Well, it's not really it's not really critical, but um, it will make a less problem on during the assembly line or somebody open up and putting the back case up back on okay one more 
Yes, and put the battery back on. And it has to be to confirm the uh, safety regulation. Not the blast goes out in the hand when you're holding the multimeter. Mm -hmm. So this screw, the I don't feel the groove of the screw is perfectly matching the tip of the screws uh, driver. Well, that's all right. And wow, I cannot reproduce the symptom of the symptom that it doesn't turn on. Oh, now it's reasonable. So. It's perfect. So I still have 1.10 uh, firmware. I'm going to update 1.15 later. And seems to be perfectly fine. No problem. Yeah, no, the, the symptom sometimes it, it was, doesn't turn on or this, the rotary switch was loose and it, and it, it was able to push a little. It, and now it, it's all gone. It won't, it, it's not able to push inside or it doesn't have a loop, loose pushing uh, sideways or doesn't have the symptom. It doesn't switch when you, to, when the range is, I mean, yeah. Vote, vote mode or uh, all mode. It always turns on. Not okay, great. Okay. This is it today. Thank you.